Hello and welcome to this travel video. We are in the west of Spain, giving you a glimpse of some places you can visit as a day trip from Madrid, or you can turn it into a regional multi-day visit. So the places we're gonna show you now, these towns are Avila and Salamanca. Got my camera, got my tripod, just looking for a good spot. We begin our visit on Avila's medieval walls, completed in the 14th century and made to keep out foreign invaders. Tourists today can buy a ticket to walk half the circumference of the city, which can be completed in about 45 minutes. The walls are a fitting reminder of the town's notable 16th century saint, St. Teresa of Avila, who wrote the spiritual guidebook called The Interior Castle. In this work, Teresa illustrates the faith journey as seven sequential rooms, or mansions, that one must pass through in order to reach the final room, which is total union with God. Teresa was a prolific writer, and her life was well documented. She had a mystical relationship with Jesus, and her emphasis on prayer and asceticism made her an important figure in the Counter-Reformation. She was declared the first female doctor of the church by Pope Paul VI in 1970. Her feast day is October 15th. Feast day celebrations begin with mass and a procession starting at the cathedral. Two floats make their way triumphantly through the town. One showing Our Lady, and the other, St. Teresa. The parade finishes at the convent of St. Teresa, built over the house where the saint was born and raised. I'm standing right here at the start of this bridge, which heads into Salamanca. Known as La Dorada, the Golden City, Salamanca is rich with faith and history and famous for its student life. Tourists come to the city to see its 16 churches, take in its Gothic architecture at places such as Casa de la Conchas, where seashells mark the town as a point on the Camino de Santiago, or visit the city's university, one of the earliest and most distinguished in Europe, and the seed that brought the city to full glory. The new cathedral, born out of the old cathedral, to which it is still attached, is a mixture of Baroque, Renaissance, and Gothic styles. Challenge yourself by looking closely at the details on the exterior. There's an Astra in the mix. He was added during renovations in 1992. From the cathedral, the main road leads directly to Plaza Mayor, the heart of the town's social life. On all four sides are medallions of famous Spaniards, from kings to writers and poets, 
and war heroes. The last thing on our list is to try some local food. If you're looking for a quick break for lunch, there are many eateries where you can grab a quick bite. I'm grabbing some sweets first before picking up some delicious jamón ibérico, or Iberian ham. This can be used for making a sandwich or putting it on toast as a part of a typical Spanish breakfast. Thank you for joining us in this video. I'm Anthony Johnson. God bless. Until next time.